Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss PW Foundation interview question, and the subject is maths. In this video, we are going to see all the types of question they have asked, and one thing which is very important, they have not asked the formula, they have not asked the question, they have just want to know your basic concepts, right? So let's see which type of question they have asked. So these are the interview process through which you will see at your mail now. First question was what is polynomial? It is quite very simple. So I have given all the details. Just pause the video and look it carefully and not try to note down. Right. Next question, what is zero polynomial? So the same thing I have arranged and you are going to just note it down. Right. And please like the video. Next question, what is uh, degree of zero polynomial? Right. So this is also very conceptual question. If you know, then you can easily answer it. So its answer is. Right, like this. Next question: What is LCM of root two and root three? Right. So both number are irrational numbers, so we can't take it as LCM. Right. So it, LCM is not possible; does not exist. So let's see the explanation. Right. Okay. So the next question is: What is the difference between sequence and progression? Right. So this is very important question, and this is hot question. Right. So both are very different, but both are interconnected to each other. Let's see the difference between progression and sequence is that a progression has a specific formula to calculate its nth term, right? Whereas a sequence can be based on the logical rule like a group of prime number, right? For example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is a progression. Its nth term is 2n. So we can easily derive the formula of progression, right? It is very simple. Next question. It is question from the trigonometry and this is very tough question, right? So try to solve this question by its your own. Next question, construct a triangle whose perimeter is 13 centimeter and two base angle is 60 degree and 30 degree. Then what is the side of triangle, right? So you have to find out the side of triangle. It is very simple question. Let's see the process how you are going to construct. First of all, you have to take a base of 13 centimeter. Then after you are going to construct two angle, that is 60 and 30 then bisect the angle and these all are process through which you have to go right so these are all the process try to understand it carefully next question is 22 by 7 is irrational number so the question was is pi is a rational number or rational number right so this is very confusing right so just try to understand i have clear all the things why 22 by 7 is a rational number why pi is a rational number so there is a big difference See, 22 by 7, it is in the form of p by q, right? And this is a rational number. Why? Because it is in the form of p by q. And if you divide, means if you uh, do a decimal expansion, then you will see that the number that is 142857 will repeat, right? So this is terminated. So we can say it is a rational number. But the value of pi, it is like that. So it is not going to terminate and it is not going to repeat, right? So the thing is, it is irrational number and the what is the value of pi it is just what it is circumference by diameter so this is the approx value that's why it is irrational number and this is the decimal expansion up to 100 decimal right so you can also see it is not going to terminate next question what is twin prime number right what is twin prime number and co prime number so both are very different twin prime number is what the difference of two prime number is two then this is twin prime number right so basic difference is that right a pair of prime number whose difference is two is called twin prime number whereas two prime number having one as a common factor is called co prime number so each and everything is mentioned just try to note it down and be careful about it they're not going to ask tough question but they will ask a very simple question and that should be conceptual right so the next question is what is arithmetic theorem right so the first theorem was that it is very simple and i think you are knowing that one also fundamental theorem of arithmetic is said that every integer greater than one is either prime number can be expressed in the form of primes in other words all the natural number can be expressed in the form of product of its prime factor to recall prime factor are the numbers which are divisible by one and itself only for example the number 35 we can do it prime factorization that is 7 to 5 so all the things that is needed i have mentioned right so try to note it down clearly and try to be clear about this also next question what is 
in constant solution and nature of curves right so just see the explanation okay in consistent solution system consider the equation of the lines to be ax1 it is a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c1 equal to 0 right so it is what it is linear period two variable right so if you find the slope of slope of the diagram so we will get like that it is a parallel form right it is parallel to each other and what is the condition what is the condition if the value of a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 then you will get what you will get inconsistent system and there are two types also there are two types also then where you will get one solution that is a1 by a2 is not equal to it b1 sorry it is b1 by b2 right and the next one is it is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 right so these three are the just try to focus all the system of solution right next question what is intercept theorem right it is important they will ask you again right so these are all the important thing is given and it will be better if you go through the ncrt book right ncrt book of class 9th of 9th right ncrt book just go through it it will be clear to you right so and uh, all the important thing i have mentioned here even i have mentioned the extra thing right so if you go through all you will understand it easily next question what is angle of depression it is very simple thing right so the angle of depression is angle formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight when observer looks down at the object is known uh, as the angle of depression right so it is very simple thing so they will ask also what is the angle of elevation so this question from the height and distance and it is very simple question next question difference between capacity and volume right so be careful about it it is a plus eight question right so the difference is volume indicate the total amount of space covered by an object in the three dimensional space capacity refers to the ability of something like coal like solid substance gas or liquid to hold absorb or receive by an object both solid have hollow both solid and hollow object have volume only hollow object have capacity right so this is the all about the question right so this is the first round question in second round if you are selected then you are going to be a screening test on that you have to solve uh, any one topic of class 8 to 10th on digital world thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe this channel and best of luck for your upcoming interview